Hey everybody, it's Cool Kid here, and um, I'll be doing the One Piece chapter review, chapter 990. Ah, oh, man, yeah, we're only 10 chapters away from uh, chapter 1000, which is a really big milestone for uh, One Piece, so yeah, I'd be definitely pretty excited about that. Um, before I get into the chapter review, I'd just like to say that, um, you know, uh, next week or uh, yeah, yeah. Next week, it's going. There's going to be a break. Sorry to spoil you, but yeah, there's going to be a break of One Piece. But um, I believe we're going to have another Reverie. Um, if you guys don't know, it's basically where a bunch of YouTubers uh, or One Piece YouTubers talk about One Piece and discussion. They all get together and that kind of stuff. And you know, I, I mean. I'm not going to be like, man, I wish I could go one of those, but, you know, I, I, I don't know if I really want to, but still, uh, God, I, I love to watch those Reverie with, you know, all my favorite One Piece YouTubers, so I just want to say that, and maybe if you haven't heard of it and you're kind of into One Piece, maybe you should check it out. Not trying to do seamless promotion, not, not trying to do that, but yeah. That, that's just why I want to say, but, um, yeah, let, let's get into the chapter review. So, uh, the cover page starts off with, uh, <sighs> you guessed it, Beige's Oh My Family, volume 34. God, that's, uh, I know, like me and every other reviewer say, why can't this cover page just end now and, you know, we, we should be reaching the end soon, so so at least be thankful for that. But yeah, I'll just talk about it as much as I can. We got Lola and Chiffon pulling up Pound, and they say, uh, Oh yeah, it's just like uh, Mama told us, our father was a stubborn man. Yeah, yeah, so they pull Pound in. Uh, I think we only got a chapter left of this. Please? Please? Uh, what, whatever, um, let's just, uh, you know, get into the actual, uh, chapter. So, um, the actual chapter starts, uh, with, um, Sasaki. Yeah, one of the flying sticks. Uh, you know, some of you might have forgotten about him because, you know, Koshiro just pretty much, um, you know, tied him up. So, uh, basically... Uh, this chapter starts off with uh, him and I guess some random um, East Pirate member. Wait, wait a minute. Why do they do's have uh, cat ears? No, I don't. I don't think it's one of the who's who's crew member crew. But okay, okay. Uh, starts with him and uh, pretty much how this goes is Sasaki. Uh, Sasaki was really only free because um you remember i believe it wasn't last chapter but i think it was the chapter before that when big mom used the uh, sovereign team uh to uh you know create a big hole and uh the knock down the tree that uh, saki was attached to and that's how he got out so really it starts out with and uh Dendro starts off with saying uh yeah, pretty stupid. I think I was betrayed by one of my closest friends. I, I think that's a really, really interesting note to leave on. Because uh, with Dendro slash uh, Koshiro, we, we were kind of, you, you know, iffy on his real relationship with all the other Flying Six members in, in the chapter earlier. I mean, like, uh, he did seem kind of friendly with uh, Sasaki, but... I don't really think about it, but like, you know, Sasaki uh, regarded him as literally his best friend. So, so I do think that that is definitely interesting. But uh, yeah, he talks about how Big Mama knocked it down with that sort of power thing to her. Knocked down the tree, and let me loose, and then uh, we go into more of the Koshiro talk where. Koshiro's already infiltrated the castle. He was one of Odin's retainers. I don't care much about uh, Wano's history. Well, make sure he p 
pays for betraying me. Which is, um, I don't know, I, I still think that's interesting that Sasaki, you know, Sasaki thought of uh, Koshiro as his best friend and, you know, I definitely, I definitely do that's interesting, but yeah, I, I can totally, like, definitely somehow see them two uh, eventually fighting. I don't know, he'll probably get on the roof, you know, somehow. So, uh, then we go back onto the roof where, uh, you know, all these, uh, bunch of Su Long transformed mink are in the hearts of battle, uh, fighting one of the numbers on a bunch of, uh, Beast Pirate members and they're kicking ass. And then we see, um, Jack, who, while, uh, he, he's knocking down just a, you know, a bunch of these Sulok meeks. We, we do see him, like, like, injured, like, really injured with, you know, him, uh, bleeding and having, um, just a bunch of weapons stabbed all over him, which is kind of interesting, because even though people like to kind of, you know, crap on Jack, like, oh, man, he's weak, oh, man, uh, he, all the fights he's been, you know, knocked down like this, but I think this is generally the first time we've seen Jack, like, uh, you know, really being an injured and, and, like, really bloodied with weapons all over him, so, so I do, I do have to commend Jack for that, for surviving, but yeah, he knocks down uh, a bunch of the Sulong Minks, and, uh, Ganaemon sees this, and, you know, how the, uh, the Minks are falling down, and, you know, he picks up his sword, and, which, I don't know, from the shot, it looks like just, uh, I guess Kaido and all the, uh, Red Scabbers, they, they look like they're just kind of, um, standing there while all the other Minks are fighting, so, you know, I, I think that's kind of weird how, you know, Kaido and them haven't, Really started the fight, but, but whatever. Uh, Ganaemon pulls a sword. Then uh, both uh, Nekamamushi and Inurashi are like, Wait, stop, Ganaemon. We will take care of this. So, uh, you know, they go just straight after Jack, and that's that's where it ends. But, I mean, uh, with Nekamamushi and Inurashi, uh, we, they are transform into their Sulon form, but it's like a, like a shadow silhouette, so um, I, I can tell you that they are definitely furrier, and um, oh yeah, hell yeah, even, and even Nekamamushi looks way more vicious, so I, I think in the next, we should be coming up on a reveal of it soon, so um, yeah, you know, for a while, I thought like, oh yeah, we're not going to you know, go to it until, um, Luffy goes on top, but yeah, that, that's cool, and I mean, it, it's got a good excuse to bring, um, Ava out since we got some Sulag action! So, uh, yeah, after that, uh, we go down to, uh, you know, in, inside the dome and the central stage in the manor, where, uh, we get Queen and King and... Uh, Queen is basically like, ugh, what the hell, all the uh, Udon prisoners are here, what the heck happened to Udon, and freaking Straw Hat is leading all of them, and King is like, at this point, I put my expectations of you very low, so it's not very hard for me to get mad when you fail. I, I do get to find that funny, where it's like, well... I didn't really expect much of you, so when you fail, that's kind of expected. And, um, yeah, Queen's like, hey, 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 that, that's going too far, man. Was that Baba Nuki hold hostage or something? Something feels off. So, so I mean, he does mention the fact of, um, Baba Nuki, you know, being kind of weird. I mean... Obviously, we know the reason why. Um, I'm not sure if um, Queen will figure out if it's a devil fruit power or something. But uh, then King pretty much uh, goes on the uh, Denim Moshi. He's like, Shh, flying six. 
come in. And um, then we go with uh, Drake and Hawkins. Yeah. Remember a couple chapters ago, I, I said something like, oh man, right there. That right there, that person right there is Hawkins. I was wrong. So, so yeah, but, you know, Hawkins is here. And we got Drake, which, you know, ever since the bow started, I think, yeah, yeah, this is the, yeah, we're the first of seeing him after, you know, uh, King and Kaido told about, yeah, you gotta get, um, uh, you know, Yamato. So, so yeah, um, I definitely do, uh, think that's interesting, but yeah, uh, we got with, uh, Drake and Hawkins, and Drake, Drake is like, uh, man, Onigashima is a mass of chaos right now. Since you were forced here to be against your will, if you, let's just say, were planning a betrayal, wouldn't right now be the best time, and uh, Hawkins is like, and you would just allow it? Don't look down on me. And then he says, 1%. And uh, Drake's like, 1%? What the heck are you trying to predict? And uh, Hawkins, he says, the probability of that man being alive tomorrow. And Drake's like, oh, 1%. I feel bad for that guy. So, so, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Because right now, with this 1%, Theoretically, it probably could be anyone. Uh, probably my top candidates are Luffy, uh, Law. I mean, um, I could actually even argue what happens later in this chapter. Drake, um, I don't know, maybe. I mean, I doubt he would do it for King or Queen. Um, maybe even Kaido. Kaido, too, at a certain point. But what happens later? But yeah. Uh, Luffy, Law, and Drake. I think those three people are, you know, definitely big candidates of, you know, possibility since, you know, I, I think, I think a lot of people will attach to the points of Law just due to the fact that, you know, people expect Law to kind of die this arc and while, I wouldn't like that, but, um, you know, it, it, it would kind of make sense, um, you know, I'll leave this towards the end and I'll discuss about it more, but, uh, yeah, uh, Drake, uh, answers the, uh, Dan and is like, uh, is this King calling? And, uh, King is like, okay, all you flying six, I know, I know you're aware that the situation around has gone completely out of control. Uh, that the intruders have managed to and infiltrate the banquet. You could say this is the greatest failure since Onigashima was founded. So, um, because I think, because if I'm trying to remember this correctly, because I think when Odin fought Kaido, I think uh, Onigashima, I think it was, it was probably, you know, you know, found by there for a while now, but so, I don't know, I, I feel like Maybe they'll just be glossed over, but uh, yeah, and we get a shot of all the, uh, well, three of the flying six. We got uh, Sasaki, who's who, who is who, and uh, Black Maria, wonderful Black Maria. But, uh, you know, we see them. Uh, it continues with, uh, we're putting our infighting on a hole starting right now. Uh, even if you capture uh, Yamato, you won't earn the right to challenge the All-Star. So, yeah, he's basically saying, look, everyone uh, hold off on this whole, you know, invite between uh, Queen and King or any of their calamities where we're putting that on hold. It doesn't even matter if you even capture Yamato. And uh, then... We go with the uh, ulti, who, who's like, oh my god, you gotta be freaking kidding me. And then, um, page one's in the background, it's like, obviously, have you not looked around? And uh, she does her, oh, pay, pay. And she talks about, you know, 
Yamato climbed over a wall and got away. I mean, I mean, I guess that explains why, you know, like last chapter, we didn't see Yamato really fighting Ulti, so, so I, I guess that's a good enough explanation, but like, the only question is, why wouldn't she just also go over the wall? Uh, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I was going to wait here and get Pepe to give me a piggyback. Just do it, and King's on there is like, Shut up, you stupid brats! And, uh, Ulti's like, Who the hell are you calling brats? And King goes on talking about Kaido's on the roof. The enemy is uh, approaching by ascending uh, the castle. So, each of you, no matter what, make sure to stop them from going onto the roof. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so it basically King's like, look, forget about this whole squabble that we're having. Uh, right now, you gotta make sure no one, no one, no one even attempts to go on the roof to fight Kaido. And he ends this with, don't under underestimate them. May fortune of wars be with you. And he hangs up and then uh, we go back with uh, Drake and Hawkins and um, who's who? Who is who? Yeah, he enters the room. And, uh, basically, what he does is, like, um, you know, with this chaos, it might be a little trouble to do this alone. And he's like, well, there is a guy that I've wanted to kill. Queen. Oh, man, Queen. I mean, you know, I, I kind of predicted this, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's who fighting? Queen. I think we all predicted this, but, uh, yeah, Drake, well, no, 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 I'll hold off on that, but, yeah, uh, Drake's like, seriously, I don't want to be, you know, with this small little feel, are you trying to make us weaker, and, uh, even if he was here, he'd be a pain in the ass, man, I, I really don't feel like it, so, uh, we, we get away from that then we go back to, you know, the castle in the central four, where uh, basically we see uh, a bunch of the numbers, and then the the rebellion samurai taking out so the beast force, and uh, we see I guess the the ninjas, yes, the the the, the ninjas taking down these, um, yeah, rebellion samurai prisoners, like, yeah, don't get ahead of yourself, and we get this really weird, um, you know, two-panel shot, where we got Fukurokuju, and then we got, um, who I literally forgot his name, um, his, his name is Hoti, wait, yeah, Hoti, um, he, he's the guy who's in charge of, uh, you know, all the, uh, Wano samurai, and we, we see him looking at Fuku Rokuju like, uh, like confused. Like, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like this is kind of important if, like, um, I don't know, Hoti is going to uh, uh, follow Fuku Rokuju or something. Because, um, you know, when uh, a few chapters ago, when uh, Orochi got killed. And I said, oh yeah, Fuku Rokuju's totally going to, you know, be on his side. Uh, you know, everyone else is going to leave him. So I, I wonder if, um, you know, Fuku Rokuju is kind of in secret, like, um, I don't know, uh, working with Orochi, who is totally, yeah, yeah, he's totally dead. No, 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 I'm, I'm sure uh, Orochi's comeback has to do something with Fuku Rokuju, so... Uh, We'll see with that, um, you know, just an important detail that I've noticed at least. Um, so, uh, let's see. Go with the next thing. So, the Rebellion Samurai are like, ah, oh, man, I can't believe they have a huge guy. Don't worry, Straw Hats. Allow us to uh, clear the way to the castle. Don't waste any of your energy on them. And uh, on of the numbers just just takes a, a swing down with his uh 
club. He, he swings it down on them, and then uh, we got Zoro just whoosh, slices uh, the mason half, and then uh, Luffy's like, "Come on, Zoro, don't overdo it." And while the you know the splint half mace is about to land on the uh, rebellion samurai forces, uh, Jinbei just is like. The blocks out of the way so it doesn't hit them. He's like, man, watch it. That's ding dangerous. And then uh, and uh, Luffy says, if it were the same when we fought Oars to someone as big as them, it would have probably took it all of us to take them down working together. But uh, this time it's different. And uh, Luffy goes into gear fourth, which, um... This is like the second or third time he's gotten gear fourth in this uh, Ray Balone Kashima. So I, I wonder if, like, because I don't think it's thinking, like, oh yeah, Luffy go gear fourth without any real drawbacks. I think that Luffy has figured out that, you know, he can go into gear fourth and out, you know, whenever uh, he wants, but uh, he, 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 he's not going to go into its max. And maybe it could be something like it goes gear forth and out without having like a huge toll on him. So, um, I don't know. I feel like uh, that's interesting to bring up. And um, we also got uh, Hiro Goro. Oh, God, I really don't feel like I'm saying his name right. But uh, Hiro Goro, is, he, he's saying like, I see it. That form, he, he went to again. It reminds me just like the Wisdom King. So, um, the Wisdom King, it's, um, some Buddhist thing, uh, that, that I probably don't recognize. Yeah. So in this translation, it just says the Wisdom King, quotation mark, no, a Buddhist deity. So, um, I don't know if that's going to be important detail later, like, uh, maybe it'll remind, we'll have some remembrance of some importance of that, but, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Luffy goes after, uh, one of the numbers, there's a gumma gumma, but, uh, before he finishes, uh, then we go with, uh, with Queen, with x Drake, and we got e x Drake down on his knees, and, uh, Drake's like, hey, what the hell is going on here, and, I should be the one asking you about that, Drake. Now think about this very carefully. And who's who uh, says at the flower capital, you're the one who helped Law escape, didn't you? And uh, Hawkins is like, well, no one else had, couldn't have done it. So what's your objective? Uh, Drake's like, I get the person you didn't want to kill his who's who or queen. It was me. And queen's like, yeah, it's you, you piece of trash. Who you think? It's shameful to think someone may up, up high as you. And uh, queen goes on about, what are you plotting? Are you working alone? Are you with an organization? Who the hell are you, you bastard? x strike is like, sorry to disappoint you, but I'm, even if you kill me, I ain't saying nothing. Green goes on about, uh, are you sure about that? Everyone asks tough until they get the taste of my tortured. <laughs> so they got that, and, I don't know, and then there's, boom, a big explosion happening and then uh, uh who's who's like god damn it that pastor escaped uh, everyone go after uh drake he's an enemy and then uh as drake's falling out he's like man what should i do i have nowhere to to run uh sh should i go back to the marines no uh, i still have a job to do here i just have all hope is not lost my sights and uh, Drake uh, does an attack to one of the other n numbers. Uh, he does X 
Jalloper! And then we go back with Luffy finishing his King Kong gun. Boom! Both of them taking down numbers. Pretty, pretty cool. And uh, we get this scene of uh, X-Strike thinking back on uh, something that uh, our good old friend Kobe said. He's like, uh, oh yeah, Luffy's a, a good person. Um, and uh, X-Strike basically goes up to Luffy. He, he's like, Luffy, I, I, I have my reasons, but right now I'm a lone force in this battle. So please let me uh, join you along to fight Kaido. And Luffy's like, what? Next chapter, uh, you know, week break. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's where basically the chapter ends. So, uh, but what should I tackle at first? I mean, I, I do actually kind of like, um, at least in this chapter, uh, they don't, because I, I'm sure they probably could, you know, figgled around with, you know, extra, like, is it going to be with the lance or is he not? I, I do kind of like Oda just being like, Okay, this chapter, I'm just going to, you know, introduce him back into the battle, and boom, he's with the Straw Hats. Not not going to, you know, mess around with it, but I, I do kind of like how, uh, you know, they've actually, they, they, they actually tricked us about, you know, um, you know, who's who wanting to fight Queen, or the other way around. I really did think that was uh, that was pretty good. Like, oh man, we're tricking you, but in actually truth, they know that um, it was Drake. And also, um, look, uh, look, look, look. We we all know that uh, the second that uh, the, his fortune tellings, like, uh, yeah, uh, your best chance of survival is uh, to join up with uh, you know Luffy and uh, the others. He, he he'll jump ship. So um. There's, there's that, but, um, yeah, I guess I could talk about the, uh, certain other person that, uh, he was talking about earlier, uh, Hawkins. Let me pull that up real quick. Yeah, where he said, it's a 1% chance. Let me, wait, no, I missed it. Yeah, yeah, right here. He said, 1%, the chance of the man being alive tomorrow. So... Realistically, it could be other because you know one. I think it like there's three I can think of in mind. It has to be either Drake, Luffy, or uh, Law. Actually, you could even argue for Kid. So I would argue for Luffy since uh, he he kind of said the same thing about Luffy earlier in the arc. Like, oh man, he, he's going to be dead by a, a month's time. Uh, you know, during the beginning of the arc. I, I remember that. So, um, then there's Law, who, you know, was the guy, uh, the guy who, uh, you know, beat him mercilessly, uh, or, or helped beating him mercilessly. So there's Law for that. And also, people really do think Law's going to die. I don't know. I, I, I could totally see Law dying in this arc, but, um, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I would love for Law to still be there, but whatever. Uh, and there's Extrake. He could, he could pretty be it since, you know, uh, he betrayed him and he's like, I mean, actually, I mean, I, I doubt Extrake would die, but yeah, it would be pretty shocking if Extrake did die, um, you know, this arc. Um, and there's Kid. I mean, I would say Kid's a definite, but I, I doubt he's talking about Kid. Um, I mean, he could even be talking about Kaido. I mean, there's a lot of uh, characters that he could be talking about, but I just doubt it. But, uh, yeah, I guess I could talk about early how Sasaki and, um, how Sasaki and Koshiro slash Denjiro, they're totally going to fight, okay? that whole exchange, cause I, I can see them totally fighting, because honestly, with with them too, with the, you know, especially Zaki, you know, kind of viewing him as his friend, and now him being, feeling betrayal, like, oh man, that, now, now he's going to get the same, I'm going to give him that same, same feeling, uh, 
I don't know, we should definitely see you uh, soon along Nekomushu, Rashi soon, big other stuff that I really want to talk about. I guess I could talk about how, uh, at least the Straw Hats, like, they can be, like, like, especially by Luffy, he's like, yeah, all of us, we can probably beat them with no worries, even though Luffy went into gear fourth. I mean, I still think he's been going in gear fourth, you know, I would say kind of a little bit more frequently than a lot of people would like in this arc. And we haven't seen any real drawbacks from him using it in this arc. So I definitely do think that's pretty interesting detail. Um, I guess I could also talk about, I don't know, because I really can't think of uh, what way that um, I could talk about Hoti, Fuku, Rokuju. Like, um, are they going to fly? Are they not? Or is that going to lead somewhere? Like, I feel like it's going to lead somewhere. But, um, I don't know. Uh, let me look, uh, any last things. But yeah, Extric and Luffy, they're finally together. And I mean, hey, at least, um, actually, wait, uh, yeah, Excalibur. I think this is actually the first time, just, yeah, this arc was the first time that uh, both uh, Kid and Extric, they got both uh, named attacks, right? Yeah, I don't think in the pre time skip he, he did any named attacks. So, so yeah, that, that's definitely pretty cool that they're both getting uh, straight up uh, named attacks. So, yeah, yeah that, that's pretty cool and interesting. And, you know, I, I, I mean, I, I'm not going to um, be subtle, but um, uh, of all the Supernova, x is probably my favorite favorite supernova wait 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 let me rephrase that other than law because come on okay everyone i think everyone has to agree that at this point lies is just their favorite supernova no matter what but if we were to not include him extra would probably be my favorite uh there's that some oh uh, i guess i could talk about like, um, uh, one thing I really did actually like about this chapter is that, uh, it's kind of split. Like, uh, the, it, like, uh, it kind of remind. well, one of the things I liked about this chapter is it's kind of, like, split in pieces. So, it's like, uh, this happens there, and there, and there. So, it's not a, because, because, yeah, I understand, this creates a full-on battle war, so... You know, obviously, because I think pretty much Marine Ford uh, was literally almost just, uh, you know, we'll see what the heck Luffy is doing with a little bit of, you know, black, uh, bl a white beard is doing. So, um, there, there, there's that, at least. So, I do like it where it, you know, points to different one. I kind of like the, at least the flow of the chapter, and finally, uh, with um, x Drake and stuff and uh i really do think it's kind of weird the gang that uh can name on and all the rest of the rat scabbards just and kaido were just like staying there and not even look like they were engaging in battle at all so i don't know what was up with that um, let me look at the time code uh yeah i guess i'll end this video right here so yeah um uh what did i think about this chapter I think it was a really, really, really good chapter that it ended on, and you know, I mean, we're still not on the absolutely uh, low that's going to be coming up soon, and plus, we all know that's um, coming. God damn car, I, I don't know if it picked up, I, I don't really care, but um, yeah, this was a pretty good chapter. I liked it. Can't wait for next week's chapter. Oh, wait. We're on a break. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, you know, I can't wait to see the next chapter. I'll do the next chapter review. Uh, what, what else should I say? I don't know. I, I, I was so good. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time on the next One Piece chapter. Uh, review whenever the chapter com comes out. So yeah, 
Get ready for the battle with the X. Drake. No, 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 no. That ending sucks, but I, I gotta find a you know, ending sometime.